geometry. Hopefully you are doing well. We're going to do a quick, very simple problem just to get the math juices flowing in these next six weeks. Here I have a question that says find the value of x and the value of y. And I see that I have my y down here in my triangle DEF and also my x value for the segment length of DF. And we're assuming that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Again, we have that little squiggly line, which we talked about indicates similar figures. There are a couple things we know about similar figures. I'm going to highlight one, that all of the oops, corresponding angles in similar figures are congruent. They're equal in measure. All of our corresponding angles are congruent. And also you have sides in similar figures have to be proportional. There's some sort of ratio or scale factor. They're in a common proportion. Okay, so let's try and figure out what the value of x and y are. Let's do y because y is an angle measure, okay? I've got my y and I've got my 85 degrees. This one's very easy. Here we go. y equals 85. Again, we're pointing to this fact that we know all of our corresponding angles and our similar figures have to be congruent. So y is 85. Let's look at x now. All right. You've got x is this segment length of df, the corresponding segment in my similar figure triangle ABC. The corresponding segment is 6, a length of 6. So if I can set up this ratio, I could say that this ratio between my two sides, 6 and x, I'm going to set it up as a fraction, 6 divided by x, has to be the same ratio, the same proportion or scale factor between my other sides. And here we are given two other sides that are in a common proportion between my triangles. So I'm going to oh, I keep hitting the eraser. Okay, I'm going to say that since I started with this side first and then went to this segment, I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to say 10 divided by 15. 10 divided by 15. All right, we've got two equivalent ratios set up. Now we just have to solve for x, and we talked about cross-multiplying a little bit ago. So if I cross-multiply these numbers, I'm going to get 10 times x equals 6 times 15. And then I can just solve for x. This is going to be 10x equals 90. Divide by 10 on both sides, you're going to get that x equals 9. So this value right here has to be 9. Maybe we're talking about feet, 9 feet, 9 centimeters, I don't know. And that kind of checks out. If you think about it, you would have this scale factor of 1.5 multiply 10 by 1.5, you get 15. So multiply 6 by 1.5, and 6 times 1.5 is indeed 9. So that checks out. Alrighty. Good review, hopefully. We're going to be talking about similar figures when we get back. Thank you, thank you. Bye.